Another kind of typical HDR image that you might want to work on are interiors. And this is a shot of inside a chapel at the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado. And for interiors, one way to work with them is just to use the default settings. You get a very natural looking HDR merge. We've also created a preset that can work for interiors that's a little bit more stylized. It's called Natural Interiors 1. I'm going to apply that and depending on the contrast and tones in your image, you may or may not uh, like what you get. So on this image, I've got a fair bit of tone compression and a lot of structure. Now, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. So what I want to do here is I'm going to just back off on the structure on this image and I'm going to back off on the contrast because I want the to retain the airy light feel that you get with the stained glass windows. And by default we're using the natural HDR method but I'm going to change it to something different. I'm going to choose illuminate and that's just going to give it an even lighter airier feel. Okay once I've done that, I can decide if I want to add in a little bit more structure and go ahead and check out my histogram. It's pretty well centered. I might want to just dial down the exposure a little bit just to darken up the, the overall image, get those blacks where I need them to be. But here I'm going with that sort of low contrast yet colorful look. Now it's time to work on the selective adjustments. So I will decide what I want to do. And what I want to do is I want to emphasize the ceiling here and the altar. Um, and I want to neutralize this bluish color cast from the windows in the back of the chapel. So I'm going to add a control point onto these windows. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the warmth. And that's going to help me neutralize that blue cast. And I'm going to make them a little bit brighter just to make it a little more interesting. And then I'm going to brighten up the corners here where it's lights falling off a little bit. Duplicate this control point and place it over here. Okay. That evens things out a little bit for me. Lastly, I'm going to put a control point here on the on this uh, tapestry, and I'm going to increase the contrast, the exposure, and the saturation, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Add in a little structure there. So with that, we've taken something that we started with our preset, we've modified the HDR method to something that works a little bit nicer in this kind of indoor church scene where we want uh, the contrast to not be quite so harsh. And we've uh, reduced the structure from the preset, but we've gotten an image that looks very nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely natural realistic because obviously this is HDR, but it gives a very nice effect to, to the overall image. So let's go ahead and compare that with our before and after. So you can see the default was just a little bit too dark in places and our converted image, we've emphasized the tapestry, we've emphasized the ceiling and the colors, and we've neutralized the bluish cast coming in through the uh, back windows, which helps this cross stand out a little bit more.